Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're continuing on with our Tsima Dion campaign. And, as you can see, we're, uh, we're where we left off, you know, it's, it's where we are. You know that. Here we are. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a weird one, because, of course, we're going to be defending, but we're only going to have this actually defending, and then we're probably going to have to lay siege to our own territory, get these guys involved, which is super weird. Um, I can't wait to see what happens, but, I mean, Tsima UA here is pretty injured. So are we, arguably. But it's it's going to be an interesting one, for sure. So, let's go ahead and give it a go. It reckons we're going to lose, but we do have superior forces. It's a weird one. Let's see what happens. Alright then. So, we've got our reinforcements coming <laughs> the opposite end, but we do have a lot of cavalry, which might be able to serve us quite well. Um, but I'm not quite sure how to hold any of this until they arrive. I might need to let him just come in. So that way, I don't have to worry about his trebuchet at all. So I'll let him come in this way. It's going to hurt. He's going to be able to get into the you know, into the middle pretty quickly, probably. But uh, hopefully, it just means we'll be able to hold this a little longer. Which I think would be pretty good, don't you? I think so. They have fire arrows, I forget. I didn't look just now, did I? So no and no. All right, all right. There's potential. There's potential. We're just not going to be able to hold off him yet, so can be super weird. At last! Our reinforcements are arriving! Huzzah! Go! Our reinforcements are arriving. Very, very slowly. Come on, boys. Okay, good. Guys, I think just need to just get in here. Honestly, I think I just need to throw everyone right in. I can rejigger everyone a little later. So yeah, you guys get over here. Uh, looks like they're coming out to try and fight us, which is weird. Um, so let's get all these guys out. Excellent. Got our archers over here. You guys just try and get in. Best you can. Uh, kind of annoying they can't actually walk straight down here. They have to go around, which is real frustrating, actually. Oh, and they do have fire arrows. Oh, really? That's odd. Oh, he does. Oh, sneaky. Very sneaky. Alright, you shoot him, yeah? I need them dead before they set fire to everything. Set fire to some stuff, but uh, as long as they don't set fire to everything, then I'm happy. Come on, please kill these guys, yeah? Good. Oh god, please stop killing everyone. Yeah, I don't like it. Alright, how are my cow doing? Here they are. Cool. Alright, get involved, lads. Oh, and you. Go get involved. And you lot also get involved. No, I meant a fleeing the battlefield. I hate when they do that. Hate it. it sucks. Alright, shoot whatever. So yeah, keep shooting them. Actually, yeah, you just get stuck in, yeah? Alright, come on, boys. He's gonna go invisible in a minute, isn't he? Do not waste your breath. You God, he's need slow. It. And yeah, these guys are already getting involved. Which is a bit scary. I mean, we're getting some work done, so it's not the end of the world. It's close, but not quite the end. Alright, they're getting real hurt. I think uh move on to someone else first. And, oh my god, they did all stop. I knew that would happen. Should just part them past, really. But yeah, these guys should get crushed pretty easily. Um, this is all the problem, though. Yeah, they're getting in. They're getting in, I've got nothing nearby. Oh, good, they decided to go into loose formation. That's nice of you. Wow, thanks. Thanks, lads. Alright, how are you lot doing? Doing good? Got rid of them yet? Can't tell. Can't see their flag. Because we're doing too much damage to them. Our men are running. The Ugh, look at cowards. this. All G. Do you have to be? Do you really have to be? Alright. You guys, get involved, alright? Deal with them. They're running, of course. You know, that's understandable. Um, you start trying to shoot them. Completely sandwiched over here, which is a shame. But we're holding the middle. For a little while. Uh, some more units are coming in. It's not too, too bad. 
Alright, got these guys coming in too, which I like. Big fan of that. Uh, oh, look at this. This sucks. Need to get a surround on it, there's just no hope. Alright, you guys go there. You guys get involved too. So yeah, you're going to have to get around the other way. Need to sandwich them. Uh, oh, that would be hurt, huh? Yeah, you keep chasing them, I suppose. Got some swordsmen there that I could take advantage of. Ah, crap. Okay, please don't get the charge. Defense on. Okay, where are you guys going? Weirdos. Alright, they're getting wrecked. I'll have to fan out again, I think. Yeah, you just deal with them if you can. Okay, our spearmen are on the way. Perfect. Okay, you start shooting them. You lot actually pull out, I think. Uh, Alright, you guys can head there. I don't know where the other cavalry went. Oh, they're actually in that fight. Fair enough. Okay. Weird one. I think we're okay. Alright, let's get a couple more of these out there. So they have basically taken that, which is a shame. And, oh, the so G-Militia are back. Damn G. No, not you. Yeah, sure. Good. Go on, keep up. I know you can do it. Start pushing in. I dearly hope your blade is And okay, he's still not really gotten involved, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> you start moving that way again. Please take them out. They're being a real pain. All right, let's capture that again. I want that tower back. Uh, all right, they're still coming in. Cool. Start shooting them, please. You guys pull up and around. Oh, yeah, you start taking that. That's perfect. Good. Okay, you lot. Start lining up over here somewhere. That's perfect. You guys going to have to loiter a bit. I need to soften them up before I start shooting them. Really, these guys still going, huh? What a hassle. Okay, so we've taken that back, which is great. Still chasing them. I don't really want to duel anyone, if I'm perfectly honest. Alright, let's double back that way. So he's still just loitering about, which is awesome. Trebuchet's run out of ammo, which is weird. I don't know what he's been shooting at. That's great. Um, What do I want to go for? I don't know. Shoot whatever you like, actually. I, I don't really mind. Okay, they're in loose formation. Oh, those are the Sabre infantry. Perfect. Yeah, let's get them, then. Okay. Yep, deal with that. You guys, get involved over here. Still chasing him. Okay, they are taking that tower. Because, of course, they are. Okay, go deal with her. Fight. All this cab should. Alright, get in there. Hopefully you can catch her out. That'd be wonderful. Uh, you really don't need to be shooting them. Okay, you lot. Start shooting at them. Good. Getting some work done. They're still chasing us fine. Those archers are going. So it looks like we've taken control of the place. Hopefully we can kill her. That would be a nice little get. And, I don't know, do I want to walk around the other way? Maybe, maybe not. Right, am I missing anything? No, we're good. Okay, dealt with them. Lovely. Maybe go get that trebuchet. <laughs> yeah, you just keep chasing. That's totally fine. Alright, now you lot. Uh, no. Go for those archers next. Still trying to chase him, it's just not working. Alright, how about this one? Princess Pi. Uh, Shu Shu Shui. It's a different Princess Pi. Is there another Princess Pi? She didn't used to have that additional name there, which is weird. How come she's got a new name? Okay, now this is a bit irritating. 
because they've got G chasing me, and I don't like that. Okay, start shooting at them. Guys, get involved over there. He's going to go grab... Okay, good. Good, she's broken. Let's see if I can't hit him with them. Hit him with that. Okay, you guys run up that way. I guess you can run in there too. How many of them? Uh, so I don't like these guys being here. I'm running out of ammo on more guys as well. Which is definitely a problem. Getting some damage into them. But not a lot just yet. So let's move back that way. This lot can squeeze in over here. The G can move over here. Good. Uh, this cav, moving in. Okay, nice rear charge. Ah, good. Tower's got her. Excellent. Okay, looks like they're trying to capture more towers, which is fine. Fine by me. So this is going pretty well. So, a nice rear charge from over here. Work wonders. I reckon. Certainly against the Lancer Militia, who are having just a horrible, horrible day here. Okay. That ought to do it. Okay. And this is a problem. Uh, these G need to hold them back. So I can deal with him. Perfect. There we go. You got some good damage? Yeah? Okay, good. You got that rear charge. They did return, which is a bit annoying, because they're in my uh, arches now, which I'm not happy about. Okay, now please, please don't die to him. Please. Okay, looks like they're going to go, which is great. They're all gone. Lovely. She's wavering already. See, unbreakable. He is unbreakable. Crap. It's a bit annoying. I think that's it, though. I think that's it. Cool. Mm, I won't bother Chase again. I don't think I can. So he's getting pretty hurt. He's getting pretty hurt in here. So it looks like we did it. It looks like we've done it. You know? And he's got his ability again, so I can use uh, Hamstring on him again. Which will work out rather well for me, I reckon. And yep, anything fleeing is just going to get shot at. Like our own G. Oops. Oopsie doodles. Right, now get back in there. Good job, one bow. Good job. Go for the legs. That, to me, feels like you're quite far away from the guy you're trying to hamstring. Oh well, whatever. Come on, everyone charge in. He's killed Sima UA again. It doesn't matter which faction he's in, he's just having a terrible day, isn't he? Poor Sima UA. Poor lad. But hey, at least we can enjoy the spectacle. Wherever he is. There he is. This guy seems very disinterested. <laughs> I think that was one bow charging through again. I gotta say, Timmy always doing well. He's putting in the work, you know? It's just, just kind of madness to still Fight. be fighting. Okay, now, hamstring. Go for the legs. You're, you've gone far too far again. Kill them. No? Okay, decided just not to do it. Go for the legs. Okay, now that the should do it. There we go. They Thank you. No there we go. Claim victory. Decisive victory. Decisive victory, huh? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Look at that, four units managed to defend the place. Happy with that. So yeah, there we go. Siege over. So that's another Jin Empire army gone. Authority has been restored. Of course, does have resilience, so he's staying alive still. Do need to kill him, I think. Although I guess his faction's been wiped out, so it doesn't matter. Got nine more control. Um, I'm not going to do that. Set you can be gone, that's fine. No and... I guess I'll go... You know what, guys? Um, I haven't actually recorded this in a few days, and I've forgotten 
how much we need replenishment or not. I have no idea. Uh, we did lose a couple of units of cav, which has been annoying. I'm going to go replenishment just in case. I'm not really sure what we're after right now. Um, right, where are we and who are we? Oh, right, it's fights around Duo Yang. I remember now. Okay, so, uh, Duan Yu, uh, Duan Wu, Duan Wu? Duan Wu Festival. Duan Wu Festival is a momentous day. Drinks are poured freely and the smell of food fills the air. As you celebrate the honor of uh, Chu Yuan, the teams pull their dragon boats through the river with much clamor and cheering from the banks. By a truly breathtaking slim margin, your team rose to victory. Glory is yours. Good omen. Everyone's right pleased with that. Excellent. Excellent news. Right, so. Uh, you know what? He's actually fine. That replenishment's pretty damn good over here, huh? Like, real good. And yet, they're all being beaten back. Right, so these guys still got uh, Princess Pi. has actually gone north, which is brilliant for us. Because obviously she's our spy. I don't want to have to kill her. So that's excellent. We got some money. We got very good income right now. Um, just quickly check. We can get more armies. Which we may do. Because our, our income has gone up pretty considerably. Um, have you moved yet? Obviously not. We just started a new turn. I guess you're going to take the copper mine now. In uh, Poyang. Which is a bit annoying that we have to... Yeah, we can only get the copper mine here. But I'm going to take that, then we can take out the rest of these. Which would be rather nice. Oh, I can't quite reach. It's disappointing. Never mind. Right. Uh, so we do have this army as well. That's right, I was chasing off... Um, yeah, Tsima Yue came from down here, didn't he? He must have. What did he move? I think he sort of disappeared randomly. Uh, sorry, do we want to take the rest of Yan Zhou here? Or take the farmland? I think I wanted to make sure I had some more food. Um, didn't I? I moved him in prep. So yeah, okay. So Yan Zhou, let's have a little look at its garrison. Here it is. So yeah, tiny garrison. This will be easy. So we can just take that nice and quickly. Hooray, decisive victory. Just delegate it, no point. No point fighting that. So there we go, more farmland. Perfect. Okay, load of control. Always good to see. Uh... Did I get a level up there? No, they didn't. No. Oh. Thought they did. Right, let's have a look here. So. Um. Hmm. Yanjo's got a bit of a weird spot, doesn't it? I might just leave it for now. I don't really know what to build there. We'll uh, probably demolish a load of stuff and build it from the ground up again later. Right now, I don't want to spend a ton of money on our domain. Money has to go into killing stuff, I reckon. It's the best best way to do it, I think. Uh, I do want to put this stuff up, though. I do want to put some of this stuff up. Make sure that our main settlements are really doing most of the work for us. Because right now, they're not earning much for us. Not really. Not really. Do have some assignments? We have no one to put on them. Because of um, reasons. Actually, let's have a look here. So how are we doing? Okay, we still need like 350. Uh, 347. And yeah, some are dead. Plenty left, though. So yeah, still a lot to do. Still a lot to do. Alright. Let's see here. So, do I want these guys probably back in ambush stance, huh? Tree on its roots. So, let's do that again. Hopefully we can just keep catching out the same armies. And just hold this at bay for a while. While we sort of plug up some of these gaps. Make sure, you know, this toolmaker's taken. These cities are taken. Because, yeah, that, that was why I wanted more food. It's all the regional cities kicking around here. So I think I might start upgrading some of the farmland as well. Um, so this farmland can go up too. Or anyway, that, I guess. How many turns is that? That's only two turns, so I'll do that first. It's lower level. Get quicker gains that way. And yeah, you can take that next turn. Then start heading south. There's a lot to take down here. But it'll be great once we take all this. I think it'll be really useful. But yeah, these two will have to go... Yeah, we'll have to move back to get that toolmaker, because that's going to be some good cash. And then I'll take these. I, I don't think there's any uh, armies in them, as far as I can remember. Should have really watched the last episode, at least skimmed it, um, to figure out where I was again. Because, yeah, like I said, it's been a few days. Anyway, moving on. Pledge allegiance to us. Uh, I'm not going to go in any more wars, okay? I got my arm, I got my hands full. 
with the Jin Empire. They're everywhere, guys. I am really busy with them. And luckily the Jin Empire are a little bit busy with other wars as well, which is pretty great. Okay, so it looks like they're on their way. Oh, what I should have done is upgraded uh, this army here, huh? Should have got another captain for there. That would have been super useful. Okay, now what's the Jin Empire doing? Oh, ambush failed. We still got the attack, though. So that's fine. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, real, real dead. Awkward. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye now. Um, replenishment or money? It's all a bit kind of neither here nor there. I didn't really lose anybody. So replenishment would be a bit mad, so I guess we'll just get a bit of extra cash out of them. Still, I love that. They're on the retreat and they still run into ambush. Like, just because they're happy to move past us if there's no fight to be had. As far as they concern, you know, as far as they're concerned. They don't think that maybe running through enemy territory we is a bad idea. Uh, promoting an alliance war. Oh, everyone's up for an alliance war. Who's, who even is them? Who are they? That's words. Where are they? Who are they? Uh, so it's uh, Hui, Hui, maybe? Hui, Juan, Juan Tin. Hui, Juan Tin. Oh, it's these guys. They really like me, and I have a non-aggression pact with them, so I'm going to have to reject. Who's going to hate me? Uh, wow, Tsima Wei really dislikes us these days. But, so be it. We cannot ignore your actions any longer. Wait, what? Okay, so I am at war with them, am I? Nope. Nope. I left the alliance. Oh dear. Alright, well, I might have um, a problem on my hands. So yeah, rejecting actually kicks you out of the alliance, because the rest of the alliance decided they're going to go on that war. So that sucks. So we've just made a ton of enemies out of our like, nearest and dearest allies. Crap. A battlefield is no place to operate, but when there is no other option, the surgeon will do what he can, where he can. Uh, apocryphal tales uh, abound of uh, Hua, Tao, Hua Tao and his gift for medicine. They even say he drilled a hole into Tao Tao's head. Well, goddamn. Uh, just for fun, as well. <laughs> a new year begins, a new opportunity to steal people towards their destiny. Cool. God, just the Jin Empire. They really did go mental in this one. I... I I've played no other campaign where the Jin Empire have gone this insane. I've just never seen it. It's super weird. There is cunning right, let's have a look. Let's do that. Because it's right there. We might as well. And here, let's get another captain. So what do we need here? Archer captain. Well, she should be the archer one. I just gave her a weird army, didn't I? Because I knew I couldn't afford much. So I guess we'll go with the Lance Cavalry captain. I think that's a good shout. So let's do that. Oh, you know what I could do? I could go with the uh, Jan Cavalry Captain. That way I get a couple of extra infantry. Because I already have a couple of extra cavalry from the Spears, so that might actually be worthwhile. It's not something I've really been doing much, but could do it. No, I couldn't. I don't have the money. I guess we're getting this one. No harm done. Right. Uh, you. Let's swap you out for... Oh, I can get Chi Crossbowman, can't I? I'd forgotten about that. Oh, I can also get Onyx Dragons these days. God, that'd be pretty cool too. Or, I just get a bunch of Archer Militia, just to tide me over. That could also work, but... Gee, Crossbowmen. They're so cool. Yeah, let's get one of them. Let's get one. I want some of those guys, they're too cool. Alright. What next? So, they're still just loitering for the most part, aren't they? They're not really attacking anything yet. Which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we can't do any spy actions. So, what have you got for us? Um, I mean, aren't you a... Um, you're leading an army, but she's also in a good position, isn't she? Uh, so she should have some good stuff. Could it cost traders, build undercover network? I mean, I could just do support stuff like that. Improve relations. Uh, falsify marching orders. What does this do, anyway? Um, thereby diminishing the range and cause the troops to be fatigued. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Poison them, which is pretty cool. Infiltrate army. Hmm. <laughs> Larceny. Interference. 
Empower trade. I mean, that could be quite useful, I guess. Should we do that? Let's just go ahead and do that. Gives us something. Uh, wow, that's going to be super expensive, huh? That's annoying. That's very annoying. Oh dear. Alright. Um, an angry merchant accosts your spy, accusing them of flagrantly undermining trade interests and giving their competitors an edge. The merchant knows his trade well and would be a valuable asset. Your undercover network might convince him to redirect his talents towards your trade manipulation efforts. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. So, the effect of the weather on crop yields, ter uh, territory patterns and banditry, and current successes of merchant routes all influence trade. One of our spies has mastered the art of studying and predicting these efforts, uh, sorry, these effects, enabling them to exploit faction markets and increase our own trading power. Thanks, Princess Pie. You're the best, Princess. Uh, right. So, we've got a level up over here. Night battles, obviously. You know, we can start ambushing people. I'll give him this armor, because it's fancy. Give him a better horse. I mean, he's leading an army. He needs to have something a bit better than this crap, right? And how about you? What have you got? Yeah, you've got great stuff. Good for you. Good for you, mate. Right. Now where? I just don't want to really launch into the south, uh, into the north yet. Not until I've wrapped all this up. It would give me an extra army. So I have four armies to push over the river, you know, once this guy's done. Um, it looks like... Sadly, Sima Jong is going to be busy down here for a long time, which is a bit of a pity. Um, actually, quite a good garrison there. Still decisive victory, though, so we'll just take it. Thank you. From the roots to heaven. Thanks for the city. Good of you. We will bring righteousness oh. to this settlement. Really, I just have to be injured, do I? It would be assassin. I don't have any traits that would help me do this. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. All right. After capturing the town, you arrange a meeting with the magistrates of the newly annexed county. During the discussions, one of your attendants suddenly pulls out a blade and rushes directly towards you. His eyes scream murder. His intentions clearly malevolent. Just stand still. Just just stand there and get stabbed. It's great. Thanks. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, who the hell is this Burke? Sima Zan just took over. Oh, no. He was already in this army. That's fine, then. Um, but, yeah, that's super annoying. Super annoying. Oh well, right, okay. <sighs> Hassle. Uh, you need to start heading down here then, don't you? Two turns? In the name of China. Hopefully I can get that on the second turn. Spread yeah, yeah, I will be able to hit on the second turn. Cool. Uh, don't like that she's sailing right now. That worries me a bit. And none of these have got oh, trebuchets. So I can't quickly take this, annoyingly. I would like to, but I can't, which is a right nuisance. Oh, let's get, uh, yeah, military infrastructure here. Make sure it can't get taken so easily. It'd be nice if it could look after itself a bit. Right, uh, Don Chai, go for more food. Yes, please. Definitely want that. And now we're broke, so that's it then. All right, no harm done. Uh, let's get another tech, shall we? Extra faction support would be nice. Another another administrator position would also be kind of nice. Population growth. That'll put up our industry buildings a bit. Or allow us to tech them up anyway. Um, oh, and put down construction costs for the mines as well, which is nice. Kind of like that. Um, that's just less construction time generally, which is pretty cool. Mustering turns down a lot, though, I like. Um, although we've got pretty good replenishment anyway, for the most part, so maybe I won't bother with that. Hmm. Yeah, tell you what, let's just do this one. It'll be nice and quick. Let's get it out of the way. Cool. Alright, moving on. We look forward to your answer. Tima Yong is asking us as their vassal master to defend them against Tima Wei. Oh. Balls. Really, Tima Wei? Really? Ah, oh, crap. I think I need to let our vassal have independence, which is really annoying, because these guys as a vassal were super useful. Um, oh, Tima, I just... Why you got to be like that? I know we were in an alliance that you broke, but I mean, that was to be at war with someone else. Why aren't you happy in that war? Why you got to declare war on somebody else, huh? Oh, this sucks. I really wanted this guy to remain my vassal. I was going to annex him if he survived this. Crap. Um, no then, I guess... Crap. 
Oh, it's going to be untrustworthy as well. Uh, that sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, sorry, mate. Very well. Sorry, buddy. You would not need Still love you. Us. Not aggression packed. Yeah, that I can do. That I can do. Thanks. A profitable agreement. Okay. Now something. I mean, I've got dragged into another war, so that's okay. And he's still paying me tribute, essentially, so that's okay. Still, bit annoying though. Bit annoying. Okay, they're all moving back up. They're really just trying to deal with Team I right now. Sorry, Team Yon, right now, which is awesome. That is very good. Gosh, Jin Empire though, they just got stacks everywhere. Oh, he's landed. Excellent. He can run into an ambush again. Awesome. <laughs> uh, it always doesn't matter how many stacks they've got, just because they keep falling for ambushes. Just kind of cool. In fact, we've got two stacks here. You know, one takes the ambush, and then the other one's just there as backup if need be. Which is kind of cool. The trap is Let's do that. And I liberate them. Yeah, that's right. I did it. Oh, and they've got a coalition going. Fair play. Fair play. Right. So, you. Okay, Take the stallmaker. This will not happen. Wait, what? Oh, now it will. Okay. Sounded like he wasn't going to do that, but apparently he was going to. Uh, decisive victory. Yep. Fine. Brilliant. Brilliant. No one dead. So this is ours now. Good. Uncommon talent. I'm not promoting anybody. I can't afford it. They're just going to get angry with me, okay? So no. I'm not doing it. Uh, right. Do I want to head like, up this way and down again? Or do I want to just keep cutting into this bit and looping around. I might loop around, because getting another army over here might be worthwhile, just to move downwards, so I think I'm going to head this way. God, that's going to take some doing, huh? Oh, that's a bit quicker. Oh, or is it? Can't tell. I go there, there, there. I'll just take Jianan that way. Um, but yeah, I think I should get another army over here. So I might wait a couple turns, maybe? Or do I want to try and get my income up a little bit more? Because that might be beneficial, you know. Or this. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I want to be able to get an army outright. I think that's the safest thing to do. So just keep waiting until I can afford the whole army. Because, I mean, right now, these cost, what, yeah, like 2,600 each, these armies? Oh, wow, he actually costs far more. Surprising how much this army costs, actually. That is. How come hers is so cheap? Weird. All right. No worries. Oh, I do want to replace some of these guys, though, don't I? Um, let's change these crossbowmen out as well. Actually, let's change the cavalry. I have plenty of cavalry, and she's not going to be the best cavalry commander anyway. Let's get a trebuchet. Going to need one of those. And um, let's change these crossbowmen for my chi crossbowmen. And them too. Good. I'll just keep those two spears for now. Okay, that cost a bit, but that's fine. Right. Now what? They're both ambushing, which is perfect. Uh, yeah, I just need to rely on these guys in the south to keep conquering, I think. I think that's genuinely what I need to do. He'll need to come up here and deal with these guys, though. Which, uh, he doesn't really have the army for it, honestly. So I might have him march up this way and have her march down. Although, again, just all of my armies have a huge stack of cavalry that aren't going to be great in a siege situation. So we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Bit of a nuisance, guys. Bit of a nuisance. Peace with the Jin Empire. Ooh. They're willing to give me 11 grand. No. We were too generous. <laughs> Poor Jin Empire. We're tiring them out. We are definitely tiring them out. Alright. Moving in. Still doesn't know what to do. Annoyingly, we've lost line of sight in all that area. We can still see the Jin Army. You know, the Jin Armies, because we've got uh, Princess Pai, but still. God, more over here. So many armies. And ambushed? Ambushed. Ambush failed. Damn. That's a shame. Still doing night battle, though. Oh, then we won't get reinforcements. Really, that'd be a valiant defeat. Huh. That seems unusual. That'd suddenly be a valiant defeat. Oh. Yeah, protects the heaven defense of Earth are quite good, if you recall. So... <laughs> That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, let's bring them along then. Let's do this. Let's uh, let's fight these bugs. Would have been nice if we'd had an ambush, but it is what it is. 
Okay then. So, you lot, you need to fall back. There is just so much distance between reinforcements and a deployment zone, which uh, I actually like. I actually like generally. That's something that I think Warhammer struggles with is the fact that deployment zone fills basically half the map and then the vanguard area is literally just like this tiny little patch around it and then there's the edge of the map like just past that so you just end up with potentially everything squidged together against an edge of a map which is silly in 3k there's actually distance between where you set up your army places that can be vanguarded in and then the edge of the map so you never feel that the map is limited in size from the offset. You never feel like there's an actual edge to the map, like, during the battle. It never plays into it, which is brilliant. You know, it's how it should be. Because the edge of the map shouldn't play a big factor. So that's something they definitely got right here. Good. Excellent. <laughs> and, of course, the uh, additional troops over there. Okay. Yeah, you guys I actually want in the front. Oh, some additional cavalry. These two. Let's put them right at the back. And I guess these guys need a home too, so they can stand there. <laughs> just so worthless to me. Um, cool. I mean, I say that, these are all just standard archers. Nothing too fancy, is it? But they are better than archer militia, so... Where is that? Uh, mostly axe bands, though, in this army, which is a bit awkward. But uh, these should certainly help. You know, the Dow Infantry Captain and all the Protectors of Heaven. Those are heaven amazing. They're so good. Load of armor, load of missile resist. That's very good. There they are. I mean, look at them. They look so cool. Look straight out of Mulan. They're great. Yeah, these are like proper professional soldiers. Love it. Don't know where the enemy is. Really don't know where the enemy is find out eventually. See, now, I do complain occasionally about having to wait for reinforcements when they're in a garrison, but it's different when you're actually outside the city and then reinforcements come from a city. Like this one. But it's when there's, like, say I was inside the city and I was sallying forth, I would have still had to wait for my garrison units, which is really annoying. It's a really frustrating thing. Okay. That should be good. Let's press in. And you guys, in another group, can also press in. Rather pointlessly. Okay, bad guys. You there, bad guys. God, I do love these little, uh, sort of rice patties and things. They're very cool. Anyway, um... Bad guys? Ah, there they are. Wow, really, you went to the real edge of the map there, didn't you? Why would you... Ugh... That's just silly. There's a trebuchet in here somewhere too. So, you know, I was saying the edge of the map never really comes into it, but like the edge of the map's like right here. Oh, look at it, it's right here. Right there. Actually pretty close to the edge of the map here. They wouldn't use the trees, I mean I get it. I get it. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Okay. Which there was like a fast, fast, fast forward. Also, these guys can be knackered by the time they get there. They're all still fresh. That's what I like about romance mode, actually. It, it just marching from place to place doesn't tire your troops out. Uh, which I, I kind of like. It's it's odd that them running, but not in, like, charging attack animations and things, will tire people out so much. I mean, it makes sense literally, but it's very frustrating gameplay-wise because you're being forced to walk from A to B when there's no action there. You know, there's nothing fun happening. It's just getting into position to attack. Which just seems a bit tedious to me. So I am going to be suffering a bit of damage here. But not a problem. Not a problem. So you guys start flanking. Good boys. Yeah, that trebuchet. Only 30 kills. It's not too, too bad. No flaming arrows yet on this army, apparently. That's a shame. Oh, well, I guess not, because they're part of a... Whatever they're called. Captain. Regiment thing. Okay. 
Okay. No. Alright, just go straight for them. Cool. Easy. Ready! Our general needs our aid. Okay, good. Now you shoot them, I guess. Why not? Oh, there's some other people in here. Fine. Shoot. Let's just turn that off, shall we? Okay, good. Got some more charging going on over there, which I'm a big fan of. Okay. You are weak and naive. Alright, how are you lot doing? Doing well? You start shooting those G, that'd be nice and easy to kill. Yeah, they're all breaking, which is awesome. Uh, you guys can pull out. Okay, that's all good. They're going to be there for a while, I imagine. So they're getting exploded. Which I'm always a fan of. Our enemies being exploded. Okay, charging over there. Uh, not really sure where to put them. Uh, what can I shoot over here? Let's shoot there. Cool. Okay, you guys go over that way. You keep charging in there. That's great. Uh, they're finally going down. And over here, yeah, let's pull out of this fight. And you guys can charge back in. Okay, good. Everyone charging that way. Uh, yeah, keep trying to deal with them if you can. Good. Okay, good stuff. Uh, to there now, I guess. Okay, yeah, they're getting pretty hurt. That's going well. We did have a general, didn't we? What are you doing? Just chilling. Cool. Yeah, you keep chilling. No worries. I will defeat you. Okay. Get on them. Lovely. Okay. Let's get a nice charge into this lot. Okay, good. Charge back this way. Get to that lot. You double back. These guys are suddenly real livid, which is great. Yeah, they've been taking mad amounts of damage. The enemy warriors are running. All right, ha! just just set up again. Good. Good stuff. It's a good ambush. I mean, they spotted it, but the enemy general is everyone died. They were so no match. what can you do? Uh, so these guys didn't actually get many kills, did they? Cool. Decisive victory. That is. Uh, one of my favourite kinds. Fun fact for you there. It's one of my favourite kinds of victory. A decisive one. Unless it's the enemy, then I don't like it. Then I hate it. Then it's my least favourite. Okay, so. A quick wit yep. The Absolutely wrecked. Wonderful. Uh, we still lost 1,000 troops though, which is kind of crazy. But they lost uh, a few more. So, there is that. Ransom Release them. them. And then finish off with the other army of ours that's loitering there. Just as a fun surprise. Ooh, I might start starving them out then. If they're going to loiter there. See, but has declared war on us. Weren't we allies a minute ago, mate? Weren't we allies? Jeez. Where are you? Over here somewhere. Like, two territories. Oh, no. Jerk. He could actually be a lot of trouble. But, uh, still... Still, I'm going to patronise it. It's just how we do. Uh, right, fine. Land grab. Uh, well, this will, this will like, make uh, Tsimazan like us. So I think we just need to do that, honestly. Which kind of sucks, but then we have to do it. Uh, without your command, one of your retainers is aggressively driving peasants from their lands and centralising land ownership in a commandery. This has reduced the amount of tax-paying peasants, but public maintenance administration has risen. Uh, yeah, fine. Just go ahead, Tsimazan, you... Burke. 
Absolute ass hat. Uh, fine. Let's upgrade our weaponsmith. Good. Let's un-upgrade our weaponsmith, because I want to get that extra army here. So let's put it in uh, the salt mine. Why the heck not? Uh, oh, good. You can come. You can be in an army. I won't rebel. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's just get her involved. Alright, you're an army now. Cool. Alright, what do we want? Oh, it's got night battle straight away. Awesome. Um, avoiding ambush is nice. So melee attack rate's pretty cool. Uh, ranged block chance for melee cav is pretty cool. I like that. I like that quite a lot, in fact. So let's get that one. And... Disciplined for her own retinue is only useful if she dies, so I'm thinking, eh, why would we want that? Uh, then maybe go with the extra arm piercing and melee attack raid there. Let's do that. Also, you can have this, because it's fancier. And you can have a book for extra campaign movement range. There we go. Perfect. Let's do that. Whoops. Lead with strength. No, no, no. I want to recruit things. Captains obviously don't need the cavalry one. That would be mental. So let's do that. And the G infantry captain. Which has no G in it. I really don't get what that's about. It's a bit weird. Um, I always tend to get the G... Uh, sorry, the Jan infantry captain as well. Because, um, I mean, I'm just going to have a ton of cav with her. So I think I just need more infantry heavy with these guys, rather than more cavalry, you know? Although, cavalry is cavalry, so might as well. Okay, what do we want here? Dow sword guards? Uh, can't afford a few. Can't afford a few. You know? I say a few, I mean a couple, really. Obviously. So, some of that, for now. Hmm. Let's get a couple more swords. Because I can actually afford it, you know. So, as you can see, our income has gone down a smidge. But that's okay. Because we're about to take a billion cities. So it doesn't matter. That's the beauty of it. So, don't ambush. No need. Because you need to kill him. Unlucky. Unlucky. Didn't expect two hidden armies, did you? Flee one, another one comes out of a hedge. That's how I do it, guys. That's how I do it. They have suffered enough. Okay, brilliant. Uh, yeah, this crossroad is probably a much better place to ambush than having two on separate roads like that anyway. So I think I can free this guy up. Oh, look how close he is to be able to attack that. That's very annoying. Alright, let's just go here for now. Just so we can attack it next turn. But we're not necessarily showing him our cards. Um, that's fine. Might starve both of those armies out, actually. See where they go, obviously. But uh, we've got other armies poised. Which is rather nice. Uh, right, so over here. You have you moved yet? Oh, that's a point. You can be commander again. Uh, oh, maybe not. What? This general is currently commanding the army. No, it's not. Okay, well that's bugged. That's just bugged, has it? Great. That's wonderful. Maybe it'll free up next turn. I don't know. But that seems unusual to me. Right. Where are we going? Where are we going, guys? Nowhere. End of the turn. Because we are absolutely just horribly broke. That's fine. We're making some great progress. Like, this war has actually been pretty chill. Like, I'm, I'm feeling pretty relaxed playing this campaign. It's just kind of like, yeah, just fight some Jin. It's all good. No harm done. Just keep at it. You know, they'll send the odd person across the river to be ambushed. Like, it's fine. We can manage that quite happily. Also, we're sapping so many of the resources that um, uh, Timmy Yong is holding on really well. So it's stopping the Jin Empire from escalating a heck of a lot. Which is really good. Um, I'm just surprised we managed to deal with it so easily. I was expecting a much harder conflict against them. I thought they'd just send everything at us, but no. They're playing really cautiously. Which I guess is kind of the point. Like if they were super, if they had a super aggressive personality, then you get like full stacks coming from all over the map every time a war was declared. 
and then someone else would declare war on them and there'd be no armies because they would have sent them halfway across the map. So, you know, there is that. Um, more alliances going on. I'm glad I'm not a part of that. Coalition became a military alliance, huh? Oh, and Tima Yon, is it? Yeah, that's cool. Well, good for you, Tima Yon. Good for you. I'm glad you're doing okay without me. Still can't do that because he is the commanding... Dormant. That's not how this works. Alright, you... Get out of here. Don't want to recall. Move out of the army. Ugh, this is the annoying thing. Because now I've had to... Wait, what? Okay, can you... What the hell is happening with this army? The mightiest tree survives. What? Roots. No. Not possible. Okay, I have we destroyed this army somehow. Is this army broken now? An impossible task. What do you mean impossible task? Just just move. Gather your strength. Okay, I think Seema John might be broken. Standard stance. I think he actually might be broken. I can only change I his stance. Okay, I might have to recall the retinue. Because I think it's broken. I think something's broken here. We'll wait one more turn and try and move it together, but something is seriously wrong over there. Something's gone seriously wrong. What do you oh, wish tell you what, let's... Let's recall this retinue. Okay, now he can move. So let's move him here. Right, if I go recruit, can I get more stuff? I can. Okay, so I'll recruit Simazan back in next turn. That is really weird. Something went horribly wrong there. In fact... I just realized I probably won't be able to afford him next turn because he's going to cost... Oh, almost nothing. Wow. Okay. Never mind then. We'll be able to get him easily. Um, still, that is weird. That is super weird. I've never had that happen. Um, right. What's your mustering? One turn remaining. I think I might just leave him there. Uh, although mustering rate is only 10%. So I think we've kind of got it anyway. Yeah, now it's two turns, but we'll basically be there already, so we may as well just attack the town next. So that's fine, because it's only a large town. It'll be easy to nab. Ah, and we can reach this this turn. Oh. Not possible. Just realized they got a ton of extra guys for. there. Uh, right, battering ram, one of those. Attack! Yeah, we can besiege both these places, though. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, that is, that is a shame, though. But we can stop him getting any any more troops here, I guess. But, yeah, this is going to be a tough one. If we have to fight this, this is going to be real rough. But, I think I'm just going to have to stick with it, you know? Overwhelm them. Hopefully I can deal with it. Um, if I put you on China March stance, actually. Okay, if I put them on March stance, I can get there and that Bring will prevent them from attacking me. And then I can go off of March stance, go back into the normal stance so the troops aren't tied and probably just take that out with the two stacks. Maybe demand a surrender. But uh, as you can see, there's nothing nothing pressing here that I need to ambush just yet. So I think I'm okay. Because yeah, all their troops fell back. But seriously, what is on... Like, what is that army on about? What is it doing? I don't get it. That was super weird. Very, very strange. Oh well. Moving on him away. Jerk. Get out of my house. I didn't say you could cross that. Get out. Not happy with him. Not happy with him at all. Oh well. Jin Epi still on the move. Uh -huh, coming down here. That's the point, because I have a line of sight on their armies. If one of them is in ambush stance, can I see it? You know, is that something I can see? Because that would be pretty awesome. God, look at all these stacks. It's ridiculous. Shit Empire, guys. Absolutely mad. Absolutely insane. And it looks like they're coming for me. Oh god. They're coming for me again. Let us unite under a single uh, banner. Who, who's this? Military Alliance. Uh, hmm. With Tima Yong, huh? Yeah, I'm tempted, actually. I think I will. Tima Wei won't like it, but screw that guy. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Because this lot seemed to be more chill. Logic is the true path to peace. You know, this is the Take war I'm in. With our good wishes. Some way is asking us as their vassal must to defend them against uh, Ch Chang. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I guess. Wherever the hell you are. I don't even know. Where are you? Wasn't he over here somewhere? Where is he? Oh, he's one of Team Away's vassals. Crap. Solway, what are you doing? Why have you got to do this to me? Ugh. Except Team Away won't care if I do this. Huh. Which is odd. If I reject Team Away, I'll like me more. So I guess this will drag me into a war with Team Away? I'm very baffled as to what on earth is going on here. Um, but these, these particular sort of acts of diplomacy, they do need some more information. They really do. The game's very good at giving you all the information you need. And so when it doesn't say something, you assume it's not a thing. And so you get thrown quite often. But I mean, it's just annoying. Let's do that. I think we're your at war with Team Away joy. now, for all we know. We wish to show our Some way is asking us a vast mass. Really? With Team Mo as well? Oh my god. Yeah. And let me guess, at the end of this joy. it'll be Team Away who declared war this in friendship and respect. A pleasing So we're with all of Team Away's vassals, and then... Oh, okay, good. It's not asking me to be at war with Team Away then. That's good. I'm probably just at war with them now, anyway. Uh, some way to declare war on Team Away. Uh, we declare war on all their vassals. And then he declared war on me. Alright, fair enough. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, he declared war on me in order to keep his vassals. That's what that was. So now we're at war with all of our old allies. What is going on? We were allies like 10 minutes ago, guys. Um, so, the uh, Choren lo uh, lodged people are those who have abandoned their rural homes and migrated to urban centres in search of a better life. Those who have moved in search of employment can therefore be relied upon to be efficient and determined workers. A new year begins and new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. Of course. Uh, faction support sounds nice. Let's do that. Why not? Just helps me conquer things quicker without them getting annoyed with me. So, what well, with her now? <sighs> Ruddy annoying is what that is. And him. Crap. Yeah, we're all with everyone we're neighboured with. Oh, God. And him. Not Team Ayin yet, though. Not them yet. And, yeah, not good income right now. So we do need to keep conquering. Do we need to keep conquering? So let's get that one. Glad we got another army down here, though. It's making things a lot quicker. Okay. More control. We're having that. We we uh, wait, what? The chaos of what on earth? Alright, just by taking this, I suddenly lost a ton of money? How? My income just, like, dropped a ton. For some reason. Oh, no, I don't know what it was. Corruption. Yeah, I think it just... I think corruption just hit everything because of conquering that. Okay, this is why building wide is rubbish in this. Gotta build tall at the same time or you will get screwed. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, well. We'll keep it up. It's fine. Uh, right, you there? Let's delegate this. The Empiric victory. Fine. Okay, lost a few units here and there. That's fine. Good. And then let's get 10 grand out of it. Got it and, take the valuables. and now it's only a large city, so it won't cost us as much food when we do take it. And we can do the same over here. So, night battle, probably not a great idea. Pyrrhic victory. It's demand surrender. Damn. Oh, I never built siege equipment. Well, that was stupid. I guess we're just going to continue that. God damn it. Can't believe I forgot to build siege equipment. Alright, well... Huh. So we got some cash now to keep us going. But we are on the edge again, as we often find ourselves. So let's upgrade that while well, we got a bit of cash. Uh, we can upgrade this as well. Let's have a quick look. Quick deal. Trade agreement. Some way is well up for it. So let's sign that straight away. So it is agreed. And let's see if anyone wants to be a vassal. Zima Chi seems game. Huh. Cool. What do you Excellent. want? Oh, Top. wow. Yeah, that's not that... It's not that likely. It's not that likely. Okay. Not bad. 
we're doing okay. Our income suddenly went up just because of that one trade deal, which is awesome. So suddenly, we're looking good again. Um, so actually, him can't... No, he can't quite step out of that. But yeah, we'll have to attack that again in a second. Which is annoying. You know, it would be nice to get the replenishment going. But we'll have to attack that again in a second and take it. Because we need to consolidate what we have here, I think. But, uh, yeah, things are going okay. We're at war with... Most of China. Most of China. Uh, I mean, some of it we're not at war with, but we are... They are allied with everyone we're at war with. Which is a bit of a problem. But I think things are okay. I mean, the war with the Jin Empire. I mean, that was just ticking over. It was getting a bit stale. So, it only makes sense that we're at war with the rest of China. This is definitely... This is definitely the Eight Princes equivalent of our Her Yi campaign, which uh, <laughs> I'm very happy about. Because that campaign was wild. And this is following suit rather wonderfully. So, good stuff. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.